Okay, now the next creature you can probably guess just by these giant sky tentacles coming down from the sky. Look at that shadow. That is absolutely some shit of nightmares right there. This is Stranger Things 2 preview in a nutshell. Yo, what's going on everybody? Riot here playing Ark Survival Evolved, taking a look at some crazy Conan shiz today. The kind of stuff that might not be traceable for the sake of... Well, we all remember what happened with Monster Hunter when we put Monster Hunter monsters in this game right here, so I'm not sure how long this will be along right here. But either way, I'm enjoying life like crazy riding on top of this gazelle. This is quite magical. Look at this goofy bastard. So anyways, you guys really liked those turtle creatures in Conan last time, and I promised if you enjoyed it, and you guys like broke some, I don't know, just, it's, it's usually just like a small percentage has to leave likes or something, and I'll be like, okay, I'll do another video. It's literally just the way to communicate with me. And enough of you guys did to where now we're doing a second video with some crazy ass shizzle. Not to mention Conan the Frozen North is about to come out, which is going to be super cool, dude. It's like if you kept up with it, it's entire new biomes, hundreds of different items, new creatures, new titans, new everything. It's going to be amazing. And the coolest thing is I'm going out of town in like two days and I get back on the 16th and it comes out on the 16th. It's like somebody upstairs finally gives a shit about me, bro. I'm so excited. So today we're looking at some Conan creatures, round two of Conan beasts, because Conan's about to be really awesome again. And that's just super exciting. All right, now what the hell is the difference between a gazelle and an antelope? I was thinking that five seconds ago off camera, and now I want—I I should just Google it. See, this is how Conan's find out the best way to learn about animals and all that. They actually look like identical identical creatures, just recolored with different horns. Look at Satan over here. Which one of you is the real Lucifer? Oh my God! Now look at this guy though. Wow, these are some incredible horns you guys got going on here. I now see why that's like pretty much what your entire species is based on. Like, dude's got mad horns like that, he claims dominance over his species, beats up a lot of dudes, and impregnates a lot of chick gazelles, I'm assuming. I mean, to an extent, how is that even useful? You have to completely put your nose to the dirt to even make that useful. I guess it's just, and this guy's just got, I don't know which one I like the most. I know this wasn't the point of the video in the slightest, but I just, I don't know, man. <laughs> Look how different these horns look, for the love of God. Do you all kind of run like goofballs? They do, but they need a bit of a prance in their step in order to properly... Fulfill their destiny, you know what I'm saying? I don't think they could jump. Can they hit? Ooh, that is cool. Ooh, that is awesome. There's like two different moves for these guys. Oh, damn, that's actually really cool. I would love to have giant gazelle wars. You just need the movement speed bumped up like crazy, and then just up its movement speed generally. It'll be fast as hell. Your own fast little gazelle to get around in. Now these things, the Killins, Quillins, I want to say, I don't actually remember you from Conan. I don't think I can, I, I probably came across a few and just killed them really quick and never really examined their face that much. I don't think they look that pretty when brought into Ark is the thing. They kind of just, these ones rely heavily on Conan to look gorgeous. At the same time though, it's like some kind of aqua fish horse thing. This thing is essentially a fish horse, actually. It's pretty damn cool. Does it have gills? I didn't notice, I do see gills. It is an aquatic horse. It does have a beard as well. It's actually got a few pretty amazing traits, if I do say so myself. There's just been never really been that much focus on the creatures in Conan because it's not like you can tame them and stuff like that. Although apparently that's all going to be changing very, very soon. Very soon. You know what? He's not really. I don't know why I expected full on swimming animations for this creature. There's not even swimming animations for it in Conan. So why the hell would there be? I'm assuming there isn't because there isn't for most creatures. So why the hell would there be an arc? Weird ass fish horse. And then right here, stashed behind this rock, we have a rock nose. Anybody remember rock noses? These guys are one of the cool things about what made Conan so great. Cause this is such a um it's such a unique creature, you know? It's just these giant rock type creatures with these I think we had the king rock king rock nose in here last episode, actually. We do! Now we just have the whole family. Oh my god, that's so exciting. It was one of these things that killed me in such an early episode of my Conan Survival Series. So this is damn fancy. These things I actually do believe should fully be an arc. These are these, these are just gazelles and shit like that. You know, this is actually a very unique, great creature that we don't have in our life. I do like how it glows out of its innards as well. Seems like there's some crazy shiz. Well, they drop like brimstone and everything. So of course, of course, it's crazy what's going on in there. Yo, I did not realize these gazelle were so aggravated. Holy crap, look at them. Look at them go. Get back, you bastards. They do seem a little buggy at the moment. They are bending backwards and whatnot. Okay, I did my rock nose. is sucking balls. Come on, buddy. I need my gazelles to come back me up right now. Dude, these gazelle armies are actually... These gazelle fights are way more entertaining than I thought they'd be. What happens here? 
Oh, we've conjoined them. I'll bet you anything if I just go in there and smack it, they'll all be granted freedom. Holy shit! We just got launched so far back by one giant gathered mega gazelle attack. Oh, look at him escaping. See, that's so cool right there. The gazelle's just running. Oh my god. Their little pounce, you know? I could just picture some sort of plane predator. Like predator of the African plains, you know? Stalking these guys. I really wish they had some sort of herd mentality. Way too aggravated, you sons of bitches. Because I, I don't know, if I could just see like 20 of them prancing together, I feel like that'd be pretty phenomenal. Okay, now the next creature you can probably guess just by these giant sky tentacles coming down from the sky. Look at that shadow. That is absolutely some shit of nightmares right there. This is Stranger Things 2 preview in a nutshell. All right, so you can probably guess what it is. I just can't stop looking at this because it honestly looks like the most godly terrifying thing ever. A giant shadow cast of tentacles is the last thing you want to see. Either that or a giant shadow cast of a giant penis. So here we have the Yogg. Look at how incredulously huge this thing is, man. I mean, it's about the size of the Yogg and Conan, but it just seems so much more impressive in, in Ark to have something this huge. Look at this thing's little mouth alone with its little digestive track hole. That is so gross, bro. Look at that. This is like Independence Day when, when the dude does that super patriotic thing. That's, that's actually crazy. This is tripping me out right now. Never thought I'd be in this kind of a twist in arc. This is disgusting. Ha! Can't even hear the seagulls up here anymore. The game's gone mute. Oh my lord. This is this is like so disgusting. I don't even think I'd ever got as much of an appreciation for this creature in, in Conan. This is nuts. Well, in Conan has that giant animation all around it where it's, you know, it's just pestilence and disease and disgust everywhere. So you can't even properly see it uh, like perfectly. Not like crystal clear, not like this. This is some crystal clear shizzle. So I'm forced to ask, are those things, on this? I thought they were just like tentacles, but now I'm thinking they're just a second and third tongue coming out of different holes. Is that, because they seem to be moving with it. Oh God, I love the, the tongue free moving is such a key part of this creature. It's such a disgusting aspect. So here we have the Yogg in Ark, which is pretty, is pretty amazing. Not as amazing as Pickle Rick doing what he does, but it's still pretty up there. Cause look at that, we're like barely the size of a tooth. We're not. We're not even the size of a tooth. Although it's that weird little butt on the bottom of it that trips me out the most if I'm if I'm being honest with you guys. I believe it just follows me kind of well, right? There it is in the sky. You can't even really see it. It's just you just you just get followed by or there you go. God, that looks so epic. So freaking epic. You guys let me know what you think of what kind of other creatures you'd like to see. We'll check out if it's possible. I hate taking credit for it by saying like we acting like I'm actually doing anything. I have no idea how this got in the game, but I just can't give up the name of the people who do for the most part. Those anonymous Russian individuals. <laughs> or they were aliens. In fact, alien zombie Russians are the ones who did it for anybody watching this video trying to track anything down. All right, Bronto. Do you like giant tentacle beasts abducting you into the sky? Ooh! Oh shit, this might be a problem. The creature's too big to do damage. It's like, its hit marker is kind of down by the bottom of it. Well, now where the hell is it going? Dude, it looks so epic when it places down though. Yeah, I was imagining there'd be a bit of an issue with this because you ride it from like the tip of its toe and it doesn't attack from the t What the hell is going on over here? It's trying to absorb the Bronto in its, into its little hole. That's so gross. What the hell is going on over here? It is, it's trying to put it in its... We know what's going on here, but it's, it's disgusting. It should not be said. These words should not be uttered. What the hell is going on? Seriously, this is so trippy to see the combination of creatures when a god beast and a dinosaur come into contact with each other and can't figure out how to do the do. This is what happens with people from different dimensions try and make dirty. What the hell am I looking at right here? This is like the weirdest thing I've ever seen. I feel like I could watch it all day. See, his head's in there. He's doing gross stuff with it. It's what's going on here. It's getting nasty. <laughs> you sick son of a bitch, y'all. This is what happens when you, pray to, when you pray to cannibal gods right here. They come around and rape your dinosaurs. What is this? It seems to be some elegant dance. It's kind of happening perfectly, but it's just his hit marker is not where the creature expects the hit marker to be. And the, the result is actually hilarious. Now what are you doing? The gentle sit down, eh? It's a bold move. What's going on, giant? This creature is too damn big. What's going on? God, that thing is monstrous. I love this thing in Ark so much. Is anybody with me? This is why I originally supported this idea so well. 
this kind of stuff right here. Jesus Christ! I just seeing it next to that creature as well makes it look so much infinitely bigger. You know what else too? We could ride it, can't we? Can't we, buddy? We could ride you. We could actually have control over the Yogg right now. That's what I should have been doing instead of whatever the hell this was. Oh snap, son. We are a Yogg. That's as far as we can see. I mean, that giant shadow we're casting alone is pretty... How come I can only see the shadow from over here, but not from over? Weird, bro. Alright, so I don't think we can get that clear of a shadow. This is, this is me in third person. This is me regular person. Ooh, we can upgrade our Yogg, though. That's... Look at that Yogg health! That's pretty nuts, man. So Yogg can eat a lot as well. That's awesome. Alright, let's, let's go find some unlucky poo to go attack. I guess I'll just set down immediately. God, that is so crazy! I gotta see this again. So cool when it sets down. It's just so huge. You can't even you can't, just, you can't even see the top of his head That's like some straight-up stuff of dreams right there Damn it. I keep trying to get a shot at it where I can see it While it sets down and it's all beautiful and everything, but it's so hard like it's got a line above it like some sort of alien mothership Or did I just freeze everything? Get that track you big monster He's really trying, but the, it's just not giving him the option, man. <laughs> the poor bastard's really giving it his best go. Yep, that's the only downside here is Ark does not have creatures as big as the Yogg, so the end result is something goofy like this. Not to mention the way this creature attacks doesn't really work into the Ark world, you know? It just kind of buries itself. This is, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful dance we got going on here. I don't think anyone's judging him on his dance grills, but it's the end result, buddy. It's the end result of the dance grills. I still maintain that the giant snake would have been more buggy than this guy. Maybe the Colossus would have been cool. I don't know. The Yogg's like the craziest one, though. It's like this interdimensional cannibal demon that you, you, you make sacrifices to, and then it comes in and kills all your enemies. Whoa, we hustle. We're like a giant land jelly. Dude, we're booking it. Oh, no. It's up that movement speed on the y'all. That's what I'm talking about. Time to get bumping. Come on, buddy. You gotta get bumping. Oh, you are so not bumping right now. How did I do that before? I was just like perfectly flying forward. Well, that's cool. Just kind of slowly overtaking the land like a giant monster. It's always very exciting. There we go. I wish we could just get the top of our face in the photo, though. It would make it so much cooler, but it's just not the world we live in right now. Still pretty crazy, though, man. I'm a huge fan of this shit right here. Oh, my God. I just wish it was able to do more stuff. How did we launch ourselves forward last time? However we managed to fly forward, that was the future of the Yogg. I suppose that's not really how it was supposed to transport them. Look at the, the creepy-ass fingers. Those chicken finger fingers. Or like the Grinch. This is like the Grinch moving in on little Cindy Lou Who's presence right here. This must have been where they got that idea from. Oh god, why is it making us hop off of you? I even have infinite stats enabled. I don't think we could ride- oh Jesus. I don't think we could ride it into water is what's going on. Every time we like touch the water, it just kind of poops us off of it. Oh, there it goes. Making its way downtown. This thing's amazing. Oh my god. So in light of all the new code and stuff coming out and in just light of Conan creatures making or coming to Ark, make sure to leave a like if you guys want more of all of it because I'm super down. It's the shit and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Yeah.